Well, this is my first uh, attempt for a little while and today I'm going to talk about the incredible decision by the Australian Government to introduce a carbon tax. There is little to be said for the carbon tax. I simply cannot understand the Government who has decided to introduce it or the people that support it. Well, in fact, I can understand the Government that decided to introduce it. They don't believe in it for a minute. But the Greens, of course, are essential to the Labor Party staying in power and they are simply waltzing along to the Greens' tune and giving no consideration to the effect of policy on the average Australian. There's no question at all that power prices, utilities and food and petrol will all go up under the carbon tax that's proposed. But of course the Labor government has indicated that the money raised by the tax will be returned to the taxpayer to make up for the increased prices. Does this seem stupid to you? It seems incredibly stupid to me. If they say to us that the overall cost of the carbon tax will be, say, $500 a year, but here is $500 a year to make up for it, it will have no impact whatsoever on the way that we operate as a society and the way that goods and services are produced. This is clearly evident. Secondly, the effect of the carbon tax will have absolutely no impact on the so-called temperature rise that the world is undergoing at the moment. This is what it's all about, of course, if you believe the Greens. The Labor Party just want to stay in power. The Greens, of course, want to all of us to sit in the dark and the cold. However, the fact of the matter is that if Australia suddenly stopped producing all of its emissions, it would have no effect whatsoever on total carbon dioxide put into the atmosphere and no effect on global warming. Currently China is introducing one new coal-fired power plant every month and will do so for the next five years. And they are bigger than the current plant at your lawn. And guess whose coal they're using? Yes, they're using Australian coal. And no, they don't have a carbon trading scheme. So we're selling our coal overseas to anyone who wants to go ahead and do that. Not clever jam. The effect on global warming will be minuscule. I'm a climate change sceptic, I'm a scientist. I don't know any of my scientific friends who believe in climate change. We'll get on to that later on. But the fact of the matter is that the action as proposed by the Australian government will have no effect on climate change. It will almost certainly have a major effect on small businesses and drive them out of business. And Luckily, it will have a very big impact on the Labor Party because there's no way in the world they can win the next election with this particular policy. And I think there's no way in the world that Gillard will survive that long. Well, in every cloud there is a silver lining. And so, that will do for the moment. I'll be back later. Bye for now.